Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me again for story time. My name is Libby, and today I am going to be reading Stand Backs of the Elephant, I Am Going to Sneeze by Patricia Thomas, illustrated by Wallace Tripp. Another book from my early library, and I think this has got to be my favorite. I can read this one over and over again. And I chuckle, oh, excuse me, and I chuckle every time I do. And I think you'll see why. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear. It's clear. Oh dear, you'd better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and strong, and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail. Tumbling and bumbling, your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please, don't sneeze. <clears throat> no, no, please, don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of our trees, the branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away. We didn't get back until the next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers shook for hours the last time you sneezed. Even a cough would knock some of us off. Oh, please, don't sneeze. With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneezed, we lost all of our feathers. We didn't know whether we'd ever get back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet, from his head to his feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock's tails, and the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess, it was quite a mess. Very confusing and not too amusing. Even a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Fly, fly, called the birds to the bees. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. No, no, buzzed the bees. Not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off our stings and our wings, and we had to make do with rose thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please. And that's hard. While our wings grew back in, what a sin. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Beware, beware, called the bees to the bear. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, please, not a sneeze, said the bear. It's not fair, I declare. The last time he sneezed, he blew off all my hair. And he left me so bare, I spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe don't laugh, almost bit in half, and the alligator snout why it turned inside out the last time he sneezed, and a sniff or a snuff is bad enough, but a sneeze, oh please, don't sneeze. I, 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 I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. Oh my. Do try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish, you would if you could. The last time you blew off all of our scales, from our heads to our tails, and our gills got the chills, our skin is so thin. If you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please, don't sneeze. The zebra yelled, yaps, you blow off my stripes. Plus lots and lots of the leopard spots and all of the snakes would be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said a lot of us will fall right on our bottoms if you sneeze. So please, don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my friends, said the elephant sadly. About all of this, I do feel badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I'd do it gladly. But I have such a twitch in my trunk and an itch plus a bit of a tickle and even a prickle. 
You must run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Ah! Ah! Boo! Shouted a little gray mouse, jumping out of his house. He stood right up on his little tippy toes, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek! Shouted the elephant, jumping up in the air. That's a mouse! That's a mouse standing there! I must hide in a tree before he gets me, or jump in the lake. Oh, for goodness sake! Don't scare me! Please spare me! The mouse laughed, oh, pooh. Now what could I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you. I only wanted to give you a scare, and it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know? Laughed the elephant. That's so. It's astounding, confounding. As I live and breathe, I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. He, 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 he. That's the funniest thing that has happened to me. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. The elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho ho and ha ha. He giggled and goffed. He chortled and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed till he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking and all of the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees and the stings fell off every one of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where and all of the hair fell right off the bear. The giraffe bit in half and the alligator's snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The zebra yelled, yaps! There go my straps! While the hippo went thump right on his plump, you know what. And into a puddle, the mouse went kerplop. Then he sat up and shouted, this simply must stop. We're terribly glad you don't have to sneeze, but if you must laugh, laugh softly. Oh, elephant, please. And that is the end of Stand Back, said the elephant, I'm going to sneeze. I hope you enjoyed it. Sometimes it's good just to have a good laugh. And I hope you have a good laugh. You guys enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, and I will see you next time in Storytime with Miss Libby.